Well, good morning, everyone. The Mass intentions for today uh, for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for Abigail Bosson and all those recommended to our prayers, especially the sick and the dying, for the souls in purgatory, and for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. I think this is also the day of 9-11, when the massacre occurred in New York, 2001. So we remember all those who died in that, almost 3,000 people in that one incident. So it's the um, 24th Sunday of the year. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets may be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people, Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we take a moment of silence and we ask pardon for the sins of the world and for our own contribution to the world of sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. <coughs> Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. <clears throat> Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made for themselves a molten calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, 
I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them. But of you I will make a great nation. But Moses begged the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised I will give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do to his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And go to my father. I will arise and go to my father. Have mercy <coughs> on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash me completely from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. I will arise and go to my father. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. I will arise and go to my Father. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My sacrifice to God, a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart, O oh God, you will not spring. I will arise and go to my Father. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I thank him who has given me strength for, his, for this, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful by appointing me to this service. Though I formerly blasphemed and persecuted and inserted him, but I received mercy. Because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me, with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The saying is sure and worthy, of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And I am the foremost of sinners, but I received mercy for this reason, that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience for an example to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. To the King of Ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <coughs> God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. 
And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, <clears throat> This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having 10 silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin which I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. Actually, the Gospel uh, has two options today, the short version which we've just heard and the longer version which includes the story of the prodigal son. But for both the long version and the short version, the heart of the scripture this morning is about being lost, about this phenomenon which we all experience in our lives. But all of us, at some stage, uh, lose things. We lose tickets, we lose keys, we lose money. We lose our way. When I was overseas recently and staying in Liverpool, I was in retreat, and so I didn't uh, want to talk to people but I needed to get exercise, so I used to go out for a little walk. And um, of course, I got completely lost and was forced to ask <laughs> the way. It was very frustrating because I would spend hours uh, trying to find my way back uh, on my own. So we've all experienced loss. And uh, the loss is not just about trivial things that can be replaced but we experience loss in the death of our loved ones. And some of the most tragic losses are the loss of a child. Physically losing a child in a crowd is a very, very frightening and panicky experience. Uh, but to lose a child in death uh, is a suffering that can never be fully healed. So loss is not only an external phenomenon in life that touches us all, but it's also an internal experience for many people. They feel they are in a state of loss. They have lost, perhaps, or never found their identity. So many people around us, do not know who they are, do not know their parents, perhaps, or have not met their siblings. A loss of identity uh, can destroy a person. And the loss of one's moral compass, morally lost, because of all the temptations and opportunities for going astray to uh, 
character that may be weak. And then there's this religious loss when people are completely confused and do not know where they've come from, where they're going, what it's all about. They come to die and have no idea why. So loss <clears throat> is, is a very real thing that we have to deal with in ourselves and respecting it happening in those around us. Likewise, the phenomenon of finding what we have lost is a great delight and a huge relief. If you, for example, lose your passport and you're in a foreign country, it's a terrible experience. Finding a friend, uh, maybe after an, an argument or a disagreement or a distancing, or just finding someone in your life, finding meaning and finding a direction, a moral direction and a religious direction that makes sense to our existence. And the greatest find of all is finding God. And that is the theme of the story of the lost sheep and the lost coin and the lost sons. For both sons in the parable of the prodigal son were lost. One was lost in a kind of trivial but obvious way with pleasures and money and all the rest of it. And the other elder son was lost in selfishness. He was not able to find his way out of this self-preoccupation. He was not able to rejoice. Because joy is part of the phenomenon of finding and of being found by another and being found by God. So I think our prayer today is that we would cling to what we have been given, the directions for our lives, the power of the Christ, the Lord, in our lives. Gratitude that we have a guide, that we have, not knowing perhaps all the details clearly, but we have a direction for our whole life. And that is something to be immensely grateful for, especially when others are flailing around looking for help. It does place a responsibility on us to help others through the example of our lives. People coming across someone who's dedicated, who's focused, who knows who they are and where they're going, people rooted in faith, in the divine, and for us expressed through our love for Jesus, our loving Lord, who shows us the way, who himself is our way. Amen.
Let us now stand and profess the faith that binds us together. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you that you have kept us always in your sight, in your love. Help us and our world to find you more deeply in each day. that our parish community may be a place of reconciliation and forgiveness for the lost, the abandoned, and the alienated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, <laughs> Archbishop Stephen, Bishop Sylvester, Father Schoen, and all our bishops and priests, deacons, may be ministers of God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those nations and countries in political and economic turmoil may work together to establish peace and justice for all their citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may not be obsessed with consumerism and materialism, but seek the values of the gospel in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray that an increase of faith, hope, and greater love may fill all hearts and homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those whose journeys through life are marked by illness, suffering, grief and despair may find in us support and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will raise up to the new life of the Son's resurrection the souls of our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will grant the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
hear our prayer. Loving Father, we come to you in prayer for all people. In imitation of your Son, may we search out the lost, welcome the poor to our table, and accompany the suffering and grieving on their journey, bearing with them their pain and anguish. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of this name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving, th giving you thanks, he said the blessing, uh, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, 
and Stephen, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
<laughs> the body of Christ the body of Christ okay. the body of Christ Amen. the body of Christ The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. How precious is your mercy, O God. The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.